Okay, hello everyone. This is Ryan. This is Rico. And today we are going to um, introduce you some of the our uh, hand tools, especially for the uh, pliers, as you can see here, all the uh, 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 pliers. So at the beginning of this live show, we will introduce you our uh, combination of the tools. So here we have three. For well, those are the three uh, combination or uh, multiple functions tools. This is a combination. There are several uh, functions for each one. So here we're going to start introduce for this one. Just now we have already show you uh, how the function we can do the hammering. So for the coming uh, one or two minutes, uh, Rico will introduce you how is the function with this one. Okay, first here you go, Rico. Yeah, first you can see the you can see our unit design, the two colors. And uh, you can see the shape, like the claw hammer, the hammer, and you you can use this, yeah, just like okay. just like we do. Okay. It's okay. Also, you can see this, like the plier, and for and we have the safety safety lock. You can see, and this is the spring, and you can use the plier. You can see one, two, three, three functions. There are multiple functions yes. with this. For other functions, the first one, knife. A knife. Yes. So this is the saw. The saw. This is the fire. Fire. Be careful. Yes. And the this screwdriver. The screwdriver. Also for this, for this place, you can use just like the bottle opener. Yes. Yes. Uh, now we will show you uh, like uh, many functions with this, just like this. We have several functions: the knife, saw, file, screwdriver, and the hammer, um, right. uh, the plier, and also this is also the plier for hooking, uh, pull right. out the nails. So all those smooth, we can put together. So we have one saw we want to show you. This is already the wood. Yes. We will show you. You can see. You can see this. Actually, this one is uh, already very fast with uh, yeah. somehow like the saw we have. Already getting through the inside. This is the saw also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So this is so this is the hammer, and the next one I'm going to introduce you another one. It's uh, somehow like this, very uh, uh, handbook. You can take it in your pocket or somehow you open it like this. This is just like the hammer here. So this is somehow the hammer. Actually, it's not only the hammer. It's not the the sharpening hammers you can see here. Uh, a little bit the cutting functions, the curved and the straight one also, this is a combination and also inside of this we also have several functions here this side is the five, the knifing, the opening, uh, or bottle opener and also the saw also also the five, we can take a bottle opener, the five one so those, this is the combination just to show you the combination. Actually, uh, this one, there are 15 functions. Totally, there are 15 functions. Another one. We can see five. And also this one, also five. This is the 10. And also this is plier, the straight one, curved one, the cutting, and also the normal plier. So this is all the uh, 15 functions with this one. It's, you can just fold it like this. Very easy taking. And we also have the small one like this. This is kind of nail cutter and the bottle opener. And also this is the one we never seen in another tool. So this is when the for especially for the uh, red one. So this is the one. And uh, there are also screwdriver, small opener. There are several, like five in each side. So this is. 
and this is just a, a start with this um, uh, three multiple function um, tools. So this is a very easy taking and you can fold it whenever it's need. So this is when we're using the hammer before we start this. Alright, so maybe we can show you how to hammer it. And we can also Okay, as this one is uh, very big somehow, so we'll start from this one. Okay, as you can see, this is already, already taken out. So this is very useful. Be careful, this one is already too much inside because the thickness with this one is a little bit bigger. That's why this one is uh, that uh, unable to open it. Alright, so this is the combination and tools with all of the three. This is the safety lock. All right, for the next, we will introduce you uh, the pliers, like uh, how, what is the pliers we have. Actually, as you can see here, we have um, the industrial one and the basic one also. Like this red color, as we all know, so this is um, for the electric electricians. So this is the electrician use. And this one, is the also uh, multiple function use, right? Yes. And uh, this is a uh, 9.5 inch. Yes. And this one is a smaller size, also industrial. And uh, this is a uh, long leverage. This is the basic one also. And this is a long nose. This is a uh, band, long nose. This is the uh, side, side cutting. We will cut in here. Later we will show you. And this is a big one. So this is the pump wrench. Uh, we put it here together. Here, so here we will introduce you all of those. How's the function? How's the uh, capability of all those uh, tools? So we will start from our. Uh, this is industrial. This is 9.5 inch, and this is um, seven, seven inch. So I will give you one. Okay. This is seven inch, and this is 9.5. Uh, we will introduce you first. I think the design is um, is unique, especially for the head of the pliers. So we and um, this is side back. This is the front side. As we can see, this is um, the come original from the transformers. As we can see the uh, the uh, films about the transformers. We, from, we got the idea from that, so we designed this like this. And also, as we can see here, the X is a little bit front. It's not in the middle of this mm -hmm. uh, joint. So this is max to be the long leverage use. As this side will be more clear, as we can see here. The ring here is max this plier as a long leverage. It can save 30% of your energy. So this is the one. And also there is another function here. We can see the curved here. This is also for opening, as we can see here. It's for opening uh, some of the uh, nails when, when nails is putting down here. So this is for the opening also. And this is also uh, the, the curves. This is the knives. It's very sharp. It's um, 0 0.4 mm thickness. It gives us the ability to cut it. Uh, the uh, thickness can be a um, uh, paper or can be an uh, envelope and also can be some uh, thick the, uh, papers so this is the cutting and also this is a uh, normal functions with as we can see the gap in the middle of this we have the gaps here somebody will say this is the gap like uh, this 0 0.01 to 0 0.4 mm this uh, gap is what we designed for this this is because um, uh, when we are cutting this uh, knife, this side, the knife can be very uh, not that sharp. When you're using for 10 years or 7 years, it's not that sharp also. But we give the gap, the capability to still use this as a tightening machine, as a plier. So this is it. And how about this one? Rico? Yeah, for this one, this is industrial, industrial type. Yes, uh, industrial. It's, it's a little different from the high leverage, you can see this. This is in the middle, middle. So, but 
For the material, it's CRV, so the quality is, is also very also very good. Yes. Yes. The material is a CRV. This is yes. very important. And also, we can see from this side, this one is in the middle, yes. and this one is uh, in here. So this is the difference. Yes. This is long leverage. This is um, the common axis. Yes. And later we will show you there how mm -hmm. makes this long leverage function. All right. Maybe we can as normal. We can see the tightening. How tight it is to make the gap between this uh, small one. As we can see, this is a tightening function. It's, uh, it's a very uh, normal function for this player also. So this is one very normal and makes it very uh, stable. And, and for the cuttings, uh, I think most people they are interested in, as what I said, this can able to cut some of the um, peppers, like uh, we have the uh, normal pepper. This is the A4 pepper that we normally have. The A4, this is the normal one. So now we will use this plier and this industrial plier. This is the long leverage, this is the common uh, structure. So we will cut this and to show you how is the cutting ability with the knifing of this piece. So let's get started. I cut like three times. Finish? Yes. This is with this, and we can see here, already cut. And this one is with this plier. Even if it's industrial, they can cut. That means it's very sharp. Yeah. And also, not only because it's sharp, we also can cut some of the others. And in, in order to let you see it more clearly, we can fold this one, and like this. cut the angles of this one to let you know it also can cut off okay let's get start it's already cut also let's make it more thick This is the, the thickness, the, it's not that, that wide, that's why this one is not cutting off. So now we will use another one from Rico's hand. Let's get the drive through. Yes. Yeah. It, because this one is wider than the yeah. knife, that's why this one cannot cut in, cutting through. Let's see this. It's already getting cut. Let's try it again. Okay. The first cut, the second, so this is the cutting ability with the uh, uh, thinner yes. like materials. And later we will cut something else. Like normally we will use this one um, cutting some wires and some nails also. So this is the common nail, very uh, simple one. Very easy. And this one also. So the industrial one. A second. It's very easy, as we can see. It's already cutting off. This yes. is cutting this. And we also have something um, more bigger to cut this. Here, we bring the, the wire. This one is a steel. And this is the common uh, carbon steel somehow. And we will measure also the thickness with this. Yes, zero. It's a zero. The reading is 1.81. 1 1.8, 1 what somehow like this one is not straight, pretty tight. It's a 1.81. Yes. So this is the reading. 
and now uh, we will cut this and try this one. Okay, first use the industrial. Can see? It's very easy. We can cut more time. Yes, you can see. See, this is the one, and also this is uh, somehow big one. It's very easy. Good. Very easy. Yes. You and this, this one is a uh, normal steel wire. So the next, this one is the, this one is the st steel. So this one is even harder than this one. Yes. So we will try this one also. Okay. Yeah. Um, also the thickness. It goes to one point six three. 1.63 all right let's remember this number and then we can cut this one okay first also use the industrial one okay, very easy and the sound is very big yes also. we can also judging from the sound to tell us this one is the steel is not the carbon yes and we also can use this big one just one hand It's very easy. No matter in front, we should front, middle, in the back. It's also can cut. This one is very easy. So this is the one. And also we have the nails. We'll bring some nails here in our toolbox and the hammer with our multifunction uh, hammers. And this is the normal nail. So this one is able to cut also, right? So maybe somebody don't believe it. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's already cutting. So we will try it again. Maybe I put it here, it's very easy. So here, we are going to use this one. It's already cutting off. So this is the functions with this uh, long leverage. Actually, this one is the advantage with this uh, long leverage. It can save like 30% uh, of, uh, of this one. So, and uh, we will let you know the nails, the thickness with these nails. This one is a three, uh, two point nine six, two point nine. Uh, let's say seven nine, two point yeah. seven nine. This is a thickness, the diameter with these nails, and then we can directly cut in like this. Just one hand. It's very easy. So this is the one, and also when we are using a. Uh, this one, we can also as the beginning of this show, I already told you this one is able to use the curved one to pull out some of the nails or you can also pull out it's very easy, we can try it again also Same one, like this. This is a little bit on the top. This is very easy, and also it's very easy when you are uh, moving uh, this one. This is the nails. This is just the wire. And I want to use this one also, as I told you. This one is also able to do something. It's already coming out. Yes. It's 
So this is one we are nailing out uh, with this. All right. From our uh, backup team, we already have 300 plus uh, viewers. Thank you so much for view. And if you have any questions, you can leave it to us. We can reply to you right on this time and as fast as we can. As we know this one, we have maybe a 20 seconds delay. Don't worry about that. If you have any questions you want to ask us, just send us the message through the um, Facebook. We can uh, see it in the back and then we will bring all the uh, questions to reply to you also. And this is the, we introduced the non leverage one. And this is the industrial one. And also we have the combination. This one is uh, the basic one or you can say the economy one. So this is, um, it's not the, this one is just non, it's not the leverage. And this side we can see this is the angle. And we have some of the pattern numbers, mm -hmm. this cutting, the curved, the straight one also. And now we will show you the cutting ability with this one also. This is a skill, is 1.63 uh, somehow, this is the thickness with this one. This is the basic one. Alright, this is, this is the steel wire. With this um, basic uh, pliers, we can cutting like this is around 8,000 to 13,000 times without cutting 1.6 mm. So this is the ability with the cutting the steel wire. We also, yes. if we cutting this kind of um, the carbon wire, you can try several times. As we know, mm -hmm. this one is more harder than this the carbon wire. So with this basic one. Not only saying this is a uh, long average, and the industrial. industrial. So with these three types of the pliers we have, we can use this basic one, we can cut steel wire yes. 8,000 to 13,000 times with a thickness 1.6 mm steel wire. This one also with its original function. That no means when we are cutting 8,000 times mm -hmm. or 30 sometimes it's not working. But this one is still kind of working when you are cutting this. So it's also very sharp. It's this normal one, very easy. Just like cutting the noodles, it's very easy. So this is the one. And with this one, uh, the industrial one, one, we can uh, we can cut like a two uh, twenty-two thousand to thirty thousand times with this uh, steel wire. Yes. 22,000 to 30, uh, to 30,000. Yes, that means you're cutting this time, it's also kind of running without its cutting functions. This is the cutting ability. Yes. So Rico, what is the cutting uh, ability with this one? The long leverage and 9.5 uh, like cutting wires. Let me tell you, I think you can believe it. It, it you can cut for at least 40, 45,000 to 50,000, 50,000 for okay. cutting. So with this one, yes. as we can see with this one, and this 1.6 mm wire, yes. you can cut 45,000 times to 50,000 times just with this, the leverage one, the long leverage one. It's a 54, uh, 55,000 to 50,000. This is the one, the average. This industrial is it's able to cut the wire with uh, 22,000 to 30,000 times. 22,000 to 30,000 times. And we also have the, the basic one. The ability is 8,000 to 13,000. 8,000 to 13,000. All right. Uh, maybe somebody is saying like uh, we also we have these small wires, we have the carbon wire and some of the nails. If this one is uh, not uh, bigger and next we will try something bigger. The hooks, as we can see in the background we have some of the handles. So this is the hook we are using for here. So this is the hook. So, so the now we will cut the hook with this um, or the pliers. Before that, we would like to measure the thickness with this. 
as we can read, this one is a 3.94, 3.94 mm. mm. So this is the thickness with this one. And now we are going to cut this with this long uh, leverage one, because this one, uh, maybe we don't have that much power. If we are power enough, you can use the, the small uh, leverage one. You can use the small leverage one. So today we will show you how to cut with this the same plier uh, we're cutting several times. So Rico, yes. maybe you try this. Okay, let me try. So I'll let Rico try this one if it's able to cut. I see you are shaking. Your hand is. Oh, come on, man. I need more power. You get. You gotta try it. You can make it. Oh, I can make okay, it. Okay, finally, this one is cutting off, and this is another side. This is it. So now I'm going to try it again with this plier and this hook. I'm using two hands because maybe I'm not power enough. We have lots of customers. They are very powerful. They have more strength than me. So let's try this. Oh. Maybe two hands is more easy. So this one is very sharp and I wonder if you can still get a close look with the sharp the knife. It's very sharp. It's not much damage, no damage with this one. It's also very sharp. We can try it again. For the safety, I would let Rico get away a little bit. So this is the one, it's very sharp. Maybe we can try cutting the peppers. We can see uh, if it's uh, still uh, that sharp also. Uh, this is the envelope, the inko envelope. And I will use this one to cut the corner. Still sharp. I would prefer you to hear the sound. The other side. You can hear the sound. It's very easy. Very easy. Just match the length of this knife. You can cut perfectly cut off this. So this is the ability with these pliers, the long leverage one. And not only because of this is the long leverage, we also can select some of the leverage with the small size also. This is also able to cut with the peppers, uh, with the steel wire, the carbon wire, the hooks, and some of the uh, normal uh, nails. Mm -hmm. It is also able to cut all of those. So when you're buying this uh, Inco pliers, don't hesitate to try this and let me know if you get the same appearance with us. Okay, so this is for the pliers and not only for that, we also have some of the other pliers. As we can see, for me I'm holding the long nose pliers and this is the band, band nose. So this band nose, in which way people may use this, Rico? Yeah. Maybe. For, for example, if you have some, some small gap and you have the nail or you have some other, you need to pull up, pull up, then you need to buy this. Okay, this is maybe have some of the angles. Yes. Just like this. This is the gap somehow yeah. like that. I have something to tighten and pull it outside yes. from this. Just like this. And this is the long nose. When we have very uh, narrow gap, like uh, some of the channels, like we have the machines that deep inside, we can use this one. As you can see, this is very deep enough. And this is the size. Uh, we have several size also from 8 inch, we have the 8 inch also from 6 to 8 inch so this is the small size, we also have several size and this is the, the another plier we have this is about just the cuttings and we also, this is the normal wire we have we can cut it's very easy As we can see, when we finish cutting, it's almost very smooth with this one. And this is the six inch is the most popular one that we are daily use. The six inch and also the seven inch also maybe six or seven. Oops. 
So when you are cutting with this one, you try to get a close, you can see this height, get a close with the surface of your working mm -hmm. surface, then you can get a smooth cutting also. So this is the one for the small size, and also we have the big size also. Yes, this size is a high leverage cutting plier, just like the company combination. It has a high leverage, the same, the same design. Yes. You can see, very easy. This one is more easy than mine. Yes, because it's high leverage. Yes, as we can see this surface like this, yes. after cutting. So this is the one for the side cutting, it's uh, very easy. This is the nail just now we cut off. Also this one is also finished cutting, with, yes. it's very easy. When you are testing this one, make it a bit design, this is, will help you to use your power to cut. Yes. And instead of that, we make another nail. Let me straight this nail first, and then this mark. And now we will use cut this one. Maybe I let me cut from top first okay. for the first time, and then we almost the surface. We try second time. Yeah, you can see. Ooh. Okay. Be careful. This is already cut off, and we will see how's the smooth cutting with this one. Maybe for this you need the more power. Be careful. When you are making this, be careful because we are. Side is what it lies. Yes. It's already finished cutting. This is a side cutting ability. So when you are buying, uh, taking one of these, um, we can see this uh, uh, long leverage one. This is our newly designed. Uh, this is uh, basically can save more of your energies when you're using this one also. And uh, we also have this electrician cutting appliance also. So this is uh, this is the package. We have the uh, hangers package. So this one is the high leverage, heavy duty, the diagonal cutting pliers. So this is the one. And when you're opening this, just like this. So this is the package. And this is the plier. This, as we can see, this one is the basic design. The ring is here. This is the basic and also the cutting abilities. So this is clear, we can cut. It's very sharp and the sound is also clear. It's very yeah. easy. So all the uh, all these pliers with this hat uh, will have the treat high heating treatment also with the two times. We have two times heating treatment, um, especially for the head of those areas. You don't need to worry about this. If this one is uh, 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 energy safe, uh, long leverage, you will worry about the thickness with this side is a little thinner, and this side will be uh, a more thickness. So we don't worry about the strongness with this one. We have the two times heating treatment with the pliers. So this makes our pliers more, very strong. All right, so this is the price for uh, all the pliers. As we can see, we have we have different we have different size and different functions. And this is another pipe wrench. So uh, according to the time, we don't have that much time. And later we will uh, show you uh, the function with this one also. As I'm giving a brief introduction, as we can see here. This is the channel, this is the channel we have, and this is the axis. This one it will stabilize another side of the uh, jaw using the channels. This one is using the axis. So these are two designs with this um, pump wrench. So the normal pipe wrench is uh, 10 inch, and the max clamp to open is uh, 40 mm. This the 40 mm. So this is the this is one is the American, the American one, American size, mm -hmm. and this will, will be the normal one we are normally using, or you can buy on the market. So this is the axis um, stabilizing. You can adjust with each 
and the axis you can read this one so this is the, the normal uh, pipe wrench this ability uh, with the material the CRV material and the max uh, max clamping is 40 the 40 mm so this one is American style this one is a 50 we can see the gap is different so this is the difference with this two one all right this is for the um, those parts of, of all those uh, pliers and now we also have uh, uh, the uh, second part uh, third part we will introduce you some of the uh, let me uh, just spread it Let's remove this one, and we will bring some of the uh, wire, wire cutters. Just one of the second will clean uh, all of those uh, surface. We we'll remove all those pliers also. striking pliers we can remove some of the wires as we can see this is the wire we use this one this and, this and one. also this one is um, more thinner and a smaller size of these um, the wires also as you can this is a three three wires in one and this is a several maybe eight or six or something so we will introduce you the functions with uh, with those pliers actually there are five there are five we can see this is five and what makes this difference because uh, this is for the electricians this is for electrician and uh, for this one we can adjust here to make sure the gap we can see here when you are closing we can see the gap here it's somehow like that and when you're adjusting here as we can see this one is already uh, stabilized with almost a zero you can screw it and tighten inside for this one is help you to stabilize this one make sure this one tight and you can see this one is zero We will tighten it, keep tightening, give some gap with this one. This is almost very small already. So this is the biggest gap. When you are screwing this, you touch the bottom side. This is the biggest size that can remove the uh, wires. So this is it. And this is for the electricians. And now, we can, as we can see, we select one of these um, the wire we will remove the striper we just put inside of here and the lens is not limited this one is not have the lens guide so here we can cut this or like this somehow you can select it by yourself for start we put it here it's very easy we are removing the wire cover second time just like when we are uh, cutting use the pliers, so this is very easy. It's very easy. So the only important thing is you have to adjust this. Make sure the gap you are leaving is match with this. Make sure this thickness is matched with the holes that you are leaving. So this is the one you have to adjust. So this is somehow like uh, not that efficient and uh, now Rico will introduce you another one so this is somehow different we can see they are more complicated with this one and yeah. he will introduce you with this one what is the function? yes yeah, for these tools it's used for, for this just like the flat cable because you can see the, you can see these teeth and cut 
So this is the teeth. Yes. And you can see here, just like the limited block, you can see this is the meat. This is the, this is the readings. Yes, the readings. Like uh, uh, there are some of the inch, some of the uh, American, American readings or yes. the British readings, they are different. Yes. They live in two levels. And this is for uh, just for the accurate. Yeah, it makes in this one more yes. tight and accurate kiting. So this is this. The, the button. I and then do. this is the wire we select mm -hmm. with somehow with the telecommunication wires. This is the where it is used. Yes, you can see. Okay. So this is cutting very yeah. easy. So compared with this one, this one is a little bit more uh, optimized. So this is when you are cutting this one, you just put inside and settle. Mm -hmm. Settle with this one, the red one, like this. So this is, um, we can put it in the half inch and let you know. This is the half, the half inch we put inside, stabilize, just press. And then, this is the lens you wanted before you measure the fix here. So the red one is for you to stabilize how much length you want to count. It's very accurate and not much, not even one is cut off. So this is no cut off. We just try this. So here we can see very clearly, none of it has been cut off. So this is with this one, right? Yes. So as we can see, we still have another one. Uh, which one do you want to select? This one. This one is maybe a little bit stronger than this one. What is the difference? Yes, just uh, just I told you, this this one is used for, for the flat cable. And this one is better to use for this one. For this. Because you can see, when I put, you can see the size suitable for different, different cable. And you can see just like put here, no small here. And here is okay. When I use it, you, sorry. Take it easy. So we, a little nervous. Don't worry. See it is. You can see. Yes, you can see. You can see. It's Very already, easy. It's already moved. Yes. I think uh, I see some of the holes here. We can see the several teeth. And the teeth size is different. That means we have to select the right gap. When I'm closing like this, we can see this one is different size. Yes. And this one we have to make it by hand. And you, you settle down here and settle it by hand. But this one, we already make it here. So this is the difference with this one. This one is very simple and very easy. So this is one. And also we have... Uh, Okay, we have. I'm going to remove, lose this uh, screwdriver as I remove this one. So this is the lens uh, stopper. So, like when we uh, stabilize this, like this is the lens you want. So this one, as we can see, there is no reading here. So this one depends on your own. So when you are settled down this. You have to know what is the lens you want. So it's already tightened with our multi functions. And we have the fire also. We use this longer one. So we put it here as we can see. This is the lens we set settle and put it in the right. The second gear. This the third one. Already removed. This is the lens we settle. And stand with the gap like this and also this. So this is the function with this. Like this one, it also has the accurate cuttings. So just now we mm -hmm. have we have questions from um, our online viewers, they have um, pe uh, some of 
uh, our customers uh, or our viewers, they ask, what is the difference with these two? And for somebody may say, this is also removing the rubber of the wires. What is the difference with this one? As we can see, we have the wires, two wires, and this one is a specialized using when you have this kind of one uh, row. You have one row of these uh, small wires. We're just cutting like this. So this is the one. Uh, this will be a uh, more accurate cuttings, and this one is with multi functions. With this one, when you're cutting the wires, big one, small one, you just put in the right angle here, as I show you, this right angle. So this one more accurate. It's more accurate cutting. Just you know how is the thickness with the wire. You put it here, the right. You select. Let me remove this one first, and I think you may see it more clearly. And when you loosen this one, don't forget to tighten it. So when you finish cutting, as we can see, this one is for more accurate cutting, we can see the teeth. It's opening, closing, opening, closing. So these are several sides. And this one, we put in the one, two, three, the third one. We just put inside like this. Just remove like this. So just like this one is the third one. One, two, three. With this one, we put inside, cut, and remove as we can see here also. So this one is more for accurate cutting, and this one is for the uh, rows like this. You have somehow we need the uh, to cut. This is when you are having the wires like this, we use this one to cut. It's more easy and more efficient. So this is the, the main difference with these two um, stripers. So these are the main difference. So if you have any questions with this one, uh, so th this one, and, and also somebody asked me about this one, those three. Don't worry, we have five different. I will uh, explain to you. Uh, later. So this one and this one, there are three. This is for rough. You can settle down here any way you want, you just cut, no problem. And this is one is for this kind of wire. This one, accurate. You know the thickness, the diameter with this one, you just put it here, choose the right piece, that's it. Very simple. So those are the difference with these three. Uh, stripers. If you have any questions, just leave a one message, we will tell you later. And also, we have uh, this one. This, uh, As we can see, this is uh, somehow a little bit more cute. It's just like the, the eyebrows, like this. It's more cute, right? So, th this is the one. More cute. And this one, as we can see, when I'm putting them like this, we can see this is also. We have two sides. One is tightening and one is removing. So Rico is having me prepare some of the wires and we just put it here. So this one, there is no uh, choice for the size of the, just put it inside like this. Just like this, it's very easy and simple. So this is the one and we can use as a quick. And there are some of the uh, numbers here. There are, the this is the readings, just the difference with the different standard. So when you are using American standard, you can read this and some also the Europe standard. This is just the reading difference. So this is with this one. This is cutting uh, more fast. You can see here, it's very easy. And the, the building of this one is also very strong. So this is um, this one. And the yellow one, this one is also the length limit. We can limit with the length you want to cut. The diff 
how to make this one? The original place is like this. When we are making this one, go out, put it here, and then you will have the wire put inside, put in high, tapping the end of this one, that's it. So it's put it here, just remove it. All right. So far, we have the customer from uh, Pakis, uh, Pakistan, Pakistan, from Abdul Wahed. Thank you so much. You've been asking some of the questions and more active uh, in our live show. Thank you so much for that. If you have any question or even some of the other customers, any question, just leave us a message. We will try to help you uh, to uh, uh, understand the uh, to know the tools, how to use, or how, any other question, just leave us a message. We'll reply to you as soon as possible, all right? And for these uh, stripers, we have the last one. As you can see, this one is longer. It's much longer. And I think some of you may already guess this is maybe have several functions. We have different readings. As you can see, this is our logo. And this is, we can see the cut here. So that means the top part, this is the functions with the cuttings. And we also have some of this, some of the teeth, somebody don't know, and later I will show you what is the function. And also we have uh, the, uh, some of the functions uh, a little bit similar like this one. So we can remove uh, the wire, rubber also, with this teeth, you select the right, you select the right teeth, and this is the ready. It help us more clearly to see the readings to make it here. So this will help us to remove. So this one you are going to use some of your man power to remove those uh, rubbers, just like this. So this is a function with this one. So this is also like the function of strippers. And with this and the yellow, uh, blue and red, we have some of these uh, accessories. Terminal. These are the terminal. This is the kind we have uh, several. We have uh, several colors and several functions with this. And as we can see, we have this one with the isolation uh, rubber. This is the termination. So when you are using this one, we will put it here. You have to adjust. Adjust this one to the right direction. And then you press. As we can see, the two sides of this one inner is already getting a uh, band. So this is one with this function. So when we're using this one, this, we can see this very clearly. It's already curved. So this is the function with these uh, terminations. So this is, this is the multi uh, functions. And also we can use this to cut in some of the wires also. Where's the wires? No, this uh, steel wire. And we can see some of the holes here. So when you're closing like this, it's also able to cut. So we use the steel one. Actually, this one, there are some of the diameters we can see here. We just get in through like this to make sure you can see this. So it's very easy. So this is the multi-function. Any hose. If it's a bigger hose, it will be like this. It cannot cut in through because this is not the accurate size with this hose, just like this. So you have to choose the right hose. Just like this. So this one, the striper, there are several functions and several readings. You have to choose the right size for your purposes. So this makes these two uh, multiple functions. So this is the difference. There are more uh, multiple functions. So today we have these uh, strippers. So all of those, actually it's a five. We can see it's a, uh, it's a five 
uh, different kinds of the scrubbers we are uh, trying to introduce you today. And uh, so if you have any questions with this, maybe I'm not that uh, uh, introduce you clearly. So if you have any questions, just leave us a message. We will uh, in, uh, apply to you or send you the email somehow online. And also we can uh, reply to you on the next uh, live show. So and for the last, if you have any um, other machines you want to see if for the next live show, we also have uh, the full uh, range of the tools. What you want to see in the next live show, please tell us and give us a message, send us an email or whatever the, the ways you can reach us. So uh, we will make the live shows as what you want to see in the coming uh, live show. So that's all for today and thank you so much and hope you to see you on the next live show. Thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye.